a teacher who raped 13 girls at an Islamic boarding school in Indonesia now faces the death penalty, a court has today said, after he had initially been sentenced to life in prison. Ari Rawan, who judges said sexually groomed 13 girls, aged between 12 and 16 years old and impregnated at least nine of his victims, was sentenced to life in jail in February but prosecutors who filed for the death penalty filed an appeal. Dot. We hereby punish the defendant with the death penalty, the judge said in a statement on Monday posted on the Bandung High Court's website. Ira Mambo, Harry's lawyer, declined to comment on whether there would be an appeal, citing a need to see the full ruling from the court. A spokesperson for the local prosecutor's office also said it would wait to receive the final ruling before commenting. Dot. Indonesian officials, including the country's child protection minister, had also backed calls for the death penalty though the nation's Human Rights Commission, which opposes the death penalty, said it was not appropriate. Indonesia, the world's biggest Muslim-majority country, has tens of thousands of Islamic boarding schools and other religious schools that often provide the only way for the children of poor families to get an education. The court said restitution for the victims will be paid by the government. While the chairman of Indonesia's Child Protection Commission said the initial verdict meant justice for the victims has been served, a family member of one of the victims told AFP news agency he was very disappointed that Wairawan did not receive a harsher sentence and warned that leniency would embolden other abusers. This wound will never be healed as long as we live, maybe until we die. The pain we are feeling is indescribable. We don't feel heard, said Hidmat Dihaya, an uncle of one of the 13 victims. If the sentence is lenient like this, there will be more Islamic teachers who will abuse children, he added. We will let God as the highest judge punish him. We can only pray because those judges fail to represent our hurt and pain. Dede Marlena, a 42-year-old housewife living near the school where Ari taught, had said she was relieved the perpetrator had been stopped but that the damage had been done. I know most of them came from poor families in remote areas, unfortunately they are now carrying the burden of what happened, she said. The case drew a public outcry over the number of rapes and the length of time they occurred. Officials said many of the victims did not report their rapes for fear of having to relive the traumatic experience, and their parents had trusted that the boarding school was guiding their children to become good and religious people. Some of Wairawan's victims had also suffered injuries from the rapes. West Java police began to investigate the case and arrested Wairawan last May when parents of a victim went to the police after their daughter returned home on a holiday and admitted she had just given birth.
The judges also ruled that nine children born to the victims should be handed over to the Children and Women Protection Agency with periodic evaluation until the victims are mentally ready to care for their children, and the situation allows for their children to be returned to the victims. Indonesia, the world's biggest Muslim-majority country, has tens of thousands of Islamic boarding schools and other religious schools that often provide the only way for the children of poor families to get an education. More than 25,000 Islamic boarding schools, known as Pesantren, are dotted across the country, with nearly 5 million students living and studying in the dorms. The Bandung rape case shone a light on the problem of sexual abuse in some of the schools, with 14 out of the 18 cases reported to the Child Protection Commission last year taking place in Pesantren. Last year two teachers at a boarding school in South Sumatra were arrested for sexually abusing 26 male students over the course of a year. And in 2020, a boarding school teacher in East Java was sentenced to 15 years in prison for sexually assaulting 15 female students.